What are we doing today, bro? Looking at lovers. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. We ain't seen any lovers yet. No. So this week we have got the held Rocket 3.0 trousers and Street 3.0 jacket. So basically, have you got a HP 4? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's right. That's what you're saying? Yeah. If you're or on any, the... any kind of S1000 double R with motor red colours. Yeah. This is the one. If you're on that Zim Zimmer life. Zim Zimmer, all got the keys to my bimmer. Okay, talk to me then. Not an awful lot to say because it's a leather suit. Traditionally with leathers, you can either have a two-piece that, can, that can't be separated, so it's sold as a two-piece, mm. such as the held spy that we have there, mm. uh, back there somewhere. Right. Um, or, like this, you can buy them as separates. Mm. Uh, so you can, you know, mix and match, basically, or get different size trousers to different size jacket, mm. etc., things like that. The other thing to consider with two-piece suits that are sold as the potential of separates is the, the cut is slightly different. So when they come as a a set where you can't split them, the jacket's normally a lot higher. So if you try and wear the jacket with an all pair of jeans, you'll find a bit of a gap there. Whereas when you buy them as separates, they're cut a little bit longer because they're not intended to always be together. Right, okay. And that's across brands as well, you'll find that. So you're brands. saying because this is, yes, it is a two-piece suit, Yes. but because you can buy it as, I can come in and just pick up the trousers, Correct. and then next month I can pick up the jacket. Correct. That means that that jacket is going to be a little bit longer. A little bit, yeah. Whereas... And the cut is slightly different as well. The me. one over there in the corner... I'll bring it out just to show you. That one just there. No, I won't because I'm too short. <laughs> that one there. <laughs> because it's... Um, because it's uh, sold together, the right. jacket is a bit shorter. And so there's downsides and, and, and plus sides. So things like that, when they're sold together, they generally work very well together. I mean, these are designed to work, to work together as well, so that's fine. Mm. However, you can also mix and match with a different jacket within the range to a different trouser within the range. Whereas that, it's meant to always be together. The other thing also to bear in mind is, um, for example, something where they come as separates, uh, you can, like I said to begin with, wear a pair of jeans, but then when you're going to go on a track day, stick your leather trousers on as well and you're good to go because it looks okay. Whereas if you try and wear it, which I've seen at Ace, where you've seen someone who's wearing jeans with a two-piece jacket, mm. you know what I'm talking about, mm. right? You do end up with a bit of a... It, it, yeah. like the, the cut is different, yeah, because cause, cause two pieces that come as a set are pretty much designed for racing. Right. So they're designed to be in full tuck position. Yeah. So they don't need that excess, whereas these are designed a little bit more forgivingly for all sorts of riders. Does it have a 360 zip? It does indeed. So on the held itself, they actually, I'll show you, <coughs> give you both a short zip, which is the black one here. Thank you. Yeah. But they also give you the full track ready, full zip, 360, which is the silver, the stainless zip. That goes all the way through there as well. And that's kind of heavy duty. That's Very heavy too. duty zips. I've taken the adapter off of this one because I was showing a customer, but they both come with adapters too. So the reason being is if you've got a separate pair of trousers, jeans, whatever, mm. you can unzip the adapter, mm. stitch it to the jeans or trouser, and then you can then attach the two. That's cool. weren't intended to go together. Does, do you know anyone who does that feature? Because that seems like kind of... Alpine Stars I've sold uh, uh, as well as Dineasy. No, I mean like sew it into your other pair of jeans. It's, it's an option. I, I have seen some wives do it for husbands, yes. Oh, so on that tip, is it? <laughs> yeah. and, as, and like, for example, here we've got a, a tailoring shop. They'll happily do it. there. So there's another few bike shops around here. Oh, sick. And they serve all of us as bike shops. So they're quite well versed with bike leathers as well. Oh, sick. So, so if, they're my repairer. If I buy this jacket and I'm like, I want to fit it to my PMJs or whatever, yeah. then I can bring it to you. And then all you've got to do is uh, take the PMJs and that, obviously wear it all together so the person doing the stitching can line it up so it's all correct. Yeah. And then that can just get stitched to the PMJs. That's sick. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Obviously you want to double slash triple stitch it to make sure it's a good solid hold, but generally speaking, they're gonna know it's leather, it's a leather garment, it's gonna need sufficient stitching. And then uh, what about, what's it made from? The jacket? Yeah. It's cowhide. Okay. So full grain cowhide, I couldn't tell you the thickness. That's fine. Um, it's perforated as well. Uh, and of course, we love what we love from Held. Not yes. only can you zip it away when you don't need it, which I'll just do to show you, obviously you've just seen it, but when, it's, when you don't need it, it's out of the way. Yeah. But when you do need it in the heat of summer, unzip that, 
And you've got a good old-fashioned uh, held air dam. Uh, I can't tell you. I just can't tell you how good it is to see one of those. Like, uh, the ventilation you're going to get from that is just outrageous. The other thing I love about this jacket, yeah, you've done that, is just the amount of neoprene they've used in all the right places. So you've got neoprene fabric on the inside of the arm. You've got neoprene fabric along the sides. So you've got plenty of give. It enables you to have a lot of movement on the bike. Mm. Um, and if you're anything like me on track, or um, I've seen you too on in videos, mm. you're very active on the bike and you move mm. around an awful lot from side to side. And it just gives you that, that range of motion, that freedom of movement, which not all leathers will give you. What about the back? On the back, uh -huh. good thing you asked. We have, so that the neoprene goes all the way across the side and pretty much to there, but you also have the accordion stretch. Ah, okay. So, and there's twofold. So not only does it give you the, so you can see how much it. Wow, that's quite a bit that's of quite a lot, yeah? yeah. Not only does it give you that flexible of movement, uh, the freedom of movement, mm. but mm -hmm. should you opt for the held clipping e-vest airbag. Yeah. The accordion stretch will allow for the airbag to inflate without blowing the stitching. Oh, snap. Are you Whoa, okay. They've, they've thought about it. So that way, a d traditional competitors that were first to the market with airbags, mm. those guys, mm. uh, they will, if your airbag goes off, you're looking at, well, first of all, it's going to blow your stitching. You've got to send the whole lot back. And I think the last time I heard it was about 300 or 400 quid. Cheers. To get it to restitched and to get a new canister put in as well, and then they send it back. Unlike with held, when you buy your airbag, if you want, I can sell you a spare and you can do it in the pits then and there and be back out for the next session. Do you know what? I was at um, the Catalonia, no, Slovakia ring. Ooh, yeah. I was at the Slovakia ring, which by the way is a dope track. Let me tell you. Tell anyway, me. Anyway, tell me. At... No, 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 tell me about Slovakia. Well, it's flat, all right? So okay. It's not, it's not that. It's not the best for undulation if you like that up and down yeah. and all sort of stuff, but it is fast. Okay. I had my ZX6 singing Top Gear on the back straight. There's Wait. three straights where you're redlining the Top Gear Slovakia ring. It's Sick. fast. It's so, so fast. Anyway, there was a guy there who had a Super Leggera mm -hmm. and a Desmodici. Mm -hmm. So he had a lot of money, is what you're saying. <laughs> money like there was no problem with what he, he brought like a hundred grand's worth of bike maybe okay. maybe like 110 more yeah about that bikes. yeah he had like a dynasty um one piece suit air tech i don't even know what it is mm -hmm. you know the one with the little light in it and yeah, it, yeah 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 i know so he crashed the air the alpine says a tech air he crashed the super Legera. fuck he crashed. It was a little one. It was only oh a little one. Oh my god! It was, a one. it was a diddy one. He just, just a little low slide. Yeah, the bike was all right, but even ah! yeah, every panel on that thing is going to be worth. Oh my god! He crashed it in the morning of day two. It's a three day, three day track, uh -huh. right? So he's done one day, and he's been, you know, fifty, fifty p in. It's fifty grand worth of bike. So he's been fifty p in the whole thing, the whole track, right? He's crashed the Super Legera. He's got the Desmo there. He's got his helmet, he's got his boots, he's got his gloves, but his suit has gone off. He lost the rest of his track. Uh, yeah. How pissed would you be? I'd be pretty pissed. You got another bike there, ready to rock and roll. Yeah. You don't have another suit. I'd be less pissed if it was Catalonia, but if it was Slovakia rig, there's less... <laughs> <laughs> Not much else to do, I imagine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but well, yeah. There, wasn't, there wasn't a lot to do. He was just like, well, Shit. well what, 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 what? Should have bought Held. Next time you can tell him. Should have bought Held. I will tell him next time. Yeah. And to be fair, it's not just Held. It's anyone that uses the in-motion airbag. So okay. that's Furigan, RST. Yeah. Uh, we'll put, we'll put a... Yeah, there's a, there's a few. Ixon. Ixon. And actually, they use it in equestrian and ski sports as well. So. Sweet. I think... We've discussed this I think at some we've point. We've discussed this before, and if we have, we will link right up there. I think what so. it means is I will when I'm doing yeah. the editing. Thanks. Yeah. Cheers. Thanks. No problem. Yeah. And another one there. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what? More. There's one up there as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
let me let me so yeah trousers um i think we've pretty much yeah covered i like the stretch there though. yeah again plenty of accordion stretch wow these zips look quite yes. good as well okay they feel good yeah and you've got the, the moisture wicking mesh that's good man yeah it's comfortable against your skin they've had to use that where the stretch is on the inside i believe ah but inside is not removable no no okay is it removable in, in i here? don't believe so so if you sweat it out then you, you're going dry cleaning so. you're gonna have to yeah air it out a little bit air it out yeah so no dry cleaning so. well no i'm sure you can dry clean it. i haven't looked at the label okay no removable no. liner no. all right that 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 is interesting but you do have a pocket here yes cool all right two pockets there mm-hmm and well you better tell us now but this does link back to another video isn't it indeed so this particular set doesn't come with knee sliders um but we've just for illustrative purposes put our held timber knee sliders on it and of course up there somewhere is going to be a video yeah somewhere there <laughs> Good okay up. should we try it on then i thought this youtube shit was going to be easy <laughs> Should we try it on? That's what happens when you don't undo the zips first. <laughs> Doesn't Beyonce have a thing? Uh, a a line, a lyric about hopping in your jeans. Hey, if you don't jump to put jeans on, baby, you don't feel my pain. I may do. I, I generally don't walk around town singing Beyonce lyrics. All right, all right. <laughs> all my single ladies. She does have a lyric. Okay. I'm going to find the song and I'll send it to you. Yo. What? Yo. Yeah. Hang on one second. Yo, okay. Yo. <laughs> I'm just... Dan getting his tuck on. <laughs> do you remember... Do you remember when we talked about the boots and we said Mother Tuckers? <laughs> My cousin got so upset. <laughs> Leon. Yeah, because he was. Is he a tucker? He's a tucker. He's a fucking tucker. He's not a tucker anymore, by the way. Oh, okay. No, no. You trained him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, don't take the piss. Um, <laughs> listen. Yeah. These. These are comfortable. <laughs> I can't even lie to you. I was feeling it from when I put them on. I was like, no. No. For, for a pair of levers. That actually fit. That's fit you properly as the, well. The stretch. What did I tell you? The stretch is unreal. So me and Dan had a conversation about leathers uh, maybe a couple of weeks ago. Because he hasn't actually, as far as, at least in this store, been in a pair of held leathers. No, I don't and, I, and I was saying to him, I do the everybody, exactly, everybody who puts it on. And really, when a set of leathers are new, you shouldn't really be able to do that as easily as you did. And that's a testament to the cut, the fit, the stretch. The stretch is, they feel comfortable. Now, I will say, normally levers are going to be free cut and less comfortable because they want you to be in that position. So the fact that I can stand up completely straight is maybe a good and bad thing. Yeah. So if I was going to go, you know, if I was on my, I don't know, BMW R90. Yeah. I think this is what you want. But maybe if you're on your track bike s1000 double r for example you can do it it will do it but you probably want that pre-cut the one piece one piece yeah but we'll come to another time yes but then this is also about two pieces versus one piece it's a for example me i fucking can't stand one pieces like, i enjoy going track track day is great i'm not a racer i do also like taking a piss when i'm at the pits I don't want to get changed every single fucking time. And I don't want to walk around with arms dangling. So for me, I've always been two-piece. I, I would never even consider a one-piece, if I'm honest. I'm one-piece till I die. I know. And that's my point. And that's where sometimes you've got to compromise on things. And so for me, I, that's an easy compromise to make. It's not pre-cut, but I it's like fine. I like this. I like this. The neoprene, the neoprene on the around the collar. neck. Yeah. That's going to feel nice. Yeah. Comfort. As opposed to just this big, hunky leather... I'm not doing it again. I'm not looking. Yeah, and again. also, just to make it easy for yourself, zip away the air dam to begin with, and it makes the whole process a bit less faffy. If you've ever watched a Baron Grum Von Grumble video, faffy! <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
in the day. Yeah, man. Him and RJ are one of the reasons why I started my vlog back in the day. Which we should drop a vlog. Yeah. Video. Yeah. Maybe I'll resurrect. Oh, 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 I see. Fucking you guy. One. I know. I making me one. add it. It's all cards, man. It's can you cards. add cards from a different channel into another channel? Ooh, I think you can. Oh, I thought I got out You're of that one. You're about to find out. Oh, fucking hell. Fucking average cunts can suck my fucking gonads. I think you can. I mean, you're the one who mentioned it. Hold on, hold on. So you've got to undo the adapters, maybe, depending on which zip you're going to use. I'm going to use the, the, full, the full 360, so then, yeah, get rid of the silver. Or it's easier if you get rid of both, to be fair, because otherwise the, that other one's going to overlap. We just put them back later. Say what? Good chunky zips, innit? They're reassuring. Yeah, the zips are really reassuring. And this... I haven't bought leathers for ages, but this already feels like... It's broken in. Like mine. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't it doesn't feel like someone else's, which is crazy because we just took it off the peg. Yeah. That's mad. Held on, I respect you for that. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I was going to get Ooh. to that. Yeah, little touches like that. Ooh. Is oh, it? let me Ooh. go. Yeah, let me go in so I can just show you. So the zip has some Velcro and you can get it out of the way. And it's on the other side as well. So, so when it's, it's exactly so when, when it's zipped, zipped up, around, yeah, it's out of the way. Yeah, stuff like that. You see, stuff like that. That's why I love held. held. And actually, Revit too are very good for for these kind of little details. And Macna. And the Macna, yes. Macna are pretty good at that. <clears throat> I think more. Maybe it's a case of more and more of the designers are realizing we're in a world, the world that we live in now. People want less and less faffage. And uh, this is a yeah, this well, that's because that's because it's you have you didn't take off the adapter the others. beforehand, and uh, yeah, I did say take both off. Human error can't be accounted for all the time. Oh, wow! <laughs> oh, no, you didn't. <laughs> oh, wow! No, no, I got it. No, I don't. No. And bear in mind, it's a new zip. And a quick tip for those that don't know. If you do buy new leathers or any new zips from any clothing, actually, and it, it's a bit sticky and you struggle, get a pencil, graphite pencil, and just draw on the zip. It's a great dry lubricant for zips. Right. You put that there. Yeah, out the way. Utilise it. It's full. There you go. That's it. And then get zipped in. You can really feel those little bits of stretch. It's just touching you just right. Oh, it's off. It's offline, isn't it? And uh, zip up the pockets too. They might make it all just sit in the way. And we'll come. Oh, there's an adapter. There's the other adapter. <laughs> I just stuffed it in the pocket. <laughs> How does it look? Looks good, it look? mate. Looks like you're a BMW factory rider. Does it? Yeah. All you need is an MGR logo on your chest. Done. Is it gonna be is it gonna be bad when we sit on a decay? Well we'll find out, sure. <laughs> Soon enough. Looks good, mate. Bro, it feels nice. And you know sometimes levers you get in it. We, like we tried on that cafe racer jacket and I got in and it was like this. Yeah. But this, I think this is the perfect balance compromise between uh like a proper proper race suit which is pre formed yeah and something that you can actually wear during the summer correct daily yeah i have sold loads of these to loads of customers and everybody loves them everybody loves them it's just the amount of stretch stretch panels accordion stretch it just makes it really really nice to move if I in i do that can you see my belly not really, no. No? Then that would be useful. That would be okay for track. Yeah. No, it definitely that, is. That's how they do it. If, okay. you, if you, you put your hands up and they can see... They've your... never checked me once. Well, I've just yeah, got lucky, I guess. But yeah. Bro, bro, let me yeah, see no, I think you're, you're definitely good. <laughs> let me see this in the mirror. Have we got a saggy bum? No, you don't. It actually oh, fits you. mate. That like actually fits you. Rider. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Look at that. Okay, let me... Um... So oh, we got some boots, Trudge gloves, and, and yeah. uh, helmet handy. <laughs> I'm not trying to the same side. It is. I'm just going to try one boot. See how that works. Mm -hmm. What's this? Nice. 
It's the held Epco 2. Held Epco 2? Yeah, EPCO 2. This is like an intermediate race boot. Uh, entry level. Entry level. Yeah. Feels nice, man. And and the way that it's yeah, everything just fits, doesn't it? Yeah. It's like what you were saying the other day about uh, when you buy everything from the same brand, and it all just works. This is held also. Right? Yeah, everything's held. Head to toe in held. Head to toe in held. This glove. I... I this is one of my favorite gloves. Yeah. This glove is insane. Yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, dude. Don't want to fall off the paddocks now. Oh, mate. There's so much movement. If you want it to be there, there's so much movement. Yeah. Within, you're not like restricted. There's no restriction. And, sorry to cut you off. Yeah, go Brand on. fucking spanking new. Yeah. Literally. And that size, I don't think anyone's ever tried that size on. So it's literally straight out of the, out of the warehouse and you're wearing it. So imagine when the leather breaks in a little bit. This is good. This is very good. I'm shocked. I, I knew you would be. I knew you'd be impressed. Because I've got Alpine style levers, and I've I've always had Alpine style levers. My only issue with my one piece is the accordion stretch here is not quite long enough, and I should, probably should have sized up when I bought them mm -hmm. at the time. But that's off the peg, isn't it? That's yeah. what happens when you get. But here, I'm not feeling. That that pad feels like it's in the right place here. Yeah. Oh man. And I would definitely upgrade to the timber sliders. Hundred percent, I'd upgrade to the. Timber Does that sliders. mean I have to put another card again in the corner? Because just because nope. you mentioned. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> you just go back to the beginning of the video. You'll find it there. Oh, dude. I would have said, you know, I okay, I'm high vis king here. I would have said. Just a little bit. We've seen some really cool jackets do some really cool high vis. I would have liked to have seen something. I don't think there's anything. There's no. nothing. There's nothing on this. No, track. but let's be honest. It's levers. I get it. And it's fucking Larry. It is Larry, but at night it ain't gonna be no, Larry. No. Right. But how this how this is working, I definitely recommend you don't wear your watch. <laughs> well. But how that that feels it just feels it feels nice and there's some neoprene nice. on the cuff as well yeah yeah neoprene on the cuff definitely but the fact you've got all of that yeah can you imagine the ventilation when you when you're riding how much ventilation we, do you and there is there? a downside to that so put track aside and if you're a fast road rider oh. it's great all day but on the way home at night it's fucking cold coming back from where yeah 24 yeah yeah <laughs> been there yeah, been there. <laughs> Find a hoodie somewhere. Yeah. I once pulled over at the services to see anything and I ended up buying four t-shirts to put on the top of me. <laughs> it's when you're in Tesco's going, F and F, you got any F and F? Have you got any F and F? Asda, George. <laughs> <laughs> Where's George? <laughs> this is really comfortable. In the normal riding position, it's very comfortable. In the tucked riding position, it, it, it's still hugging you and you can feel the... Um, the stretch panels, you can feel it. And it doesn't feel like you're pulling up the, how, how is that join at the back? Where I'm, is that? Solid, mate. I mean, like, I don't see, yeah, don't see anything. Cool yeah, we're perfect. I mean, this is full tuck. My chin is on the tank. Yeah. That's actually a cracking photo. <laughs> yeah. I like these. Yeah. I like your sound effects better. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you weren't filming then. I honestly <laughs> thought you weren't filming. Wait, am I? <clears throat> yeah, I am. <laughs> <clears throat> they work well with these gloves. 
and they really work well with these boots. They actually have boots that work even better with it. They said the model up oh, Newton okay. race boot, and they have the you know the Knox gloves had the boa. Yeah. They have the uh, the boa system on the boots to so fasten them. Yeah. Well, maybe we should look at these. Then. They're perfect. Maybe yeah. we should look at these in another video. Yeah. For um, someone who's getting started, who doesn't want to spend a lot of money, but dude does want to go to track. To a track. Who is this for? I think this is. How much is the jacket? So the jacket is three hundred and fifty-one pounds and ninety-nine pence. Three fifty. Three fifty. And the trousers are three oh seven. Three fifty, three oh seven. So you're looking at. So call it three and three fifty. Six fifty. Six fifty. 650 to 660. It's not bad. Not bad at all. For a set of levers. Not bad at all for a so set of levers. You can wear it as just a jacket by itself. Correct. That's what I was about to say, yeah. So it's not just a, a, a one time thing. Agreed. I remember I, I, I had a student who had a jacket very similar to this, but it was Vivian Westwood. She okay. She paid a lot of money yeah. for it. 2K. Yeah, easy. But this. Dude, I like it. I, I'm, yeah, I'm a big fan. I mean, it's it literally BMW rider all day long. 100%. Or, and, and, or a bike rider, a white bike rider, sorry. Uh, Andy Batchelor? Yeah. Well, he's also white, but his bike is also white. Oh, oh, the bike itself yeah. was white? Yes, sorry. I was like, You what? completely took that to somewhere else, but <laughs> normally it's me doing that shit. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so if you've got a white bike, it looks really, really good. Or like mostly white with a bit of red or any any combination of those but to be honest mm. th sorry I cut your head off there leathers in mm. general I've yet to see something that doesn't clash because even when colours clash they can look good how does it work with this decal? fucking perfect because the bike's red and you've got some red stripes on there yeah so it literally looks spot on so you're telling me not just for BMW riders but if you've got a white blue red or black black bike yeah. You're in. Yeah. So my green Kawasaki, I'm out. Well, that said, it is also available in this fetching anthracite. Ooh. Ooh. Is that the same? Same jacket, yeah. Is it? Yeah. And I've got the anthracite trousers behind as well, you'll see. Oh, hell, it is the same. Okay. I can't think of anything... Ah! Go on. I was about to say, I can't think of anything bad. But, Aha. but if you remember our very, if you've watched that long, our very, very first episode, MGR episode one, you'll know that Dan loves pockets. I love pockets, man. I lo they're just useful. They are useful things, right? You can just, you can put a few bits and bobs in there, do what you need to do, right? These pockets on this thing here. Interesting. Is what I'll say. Firstly, you go, well, what's the problem, Dan? Why, why are you getting so upset for, Dan? Just chill out. Calm down. Calm down. But no. Look, the pocket doesn't go forwards. The pocket goes backwards. That is some serious faff. So, <clears throat> so the pocket is actually back here. Yeah. Bruv. That's a, that's a, that's a yoga workout. No, you I agree. Do you, do you see what I'm saying? That's... Lars, I'm so sorry, man. But that <laughs> that's difficult. That's cool, man. But yeah, no, I mean, in terms of pocket, yeah, you're right. It's annoying. It's not ideal. I generally just would just say it's like I'm getting a lot of suit for my money, but that's a downside, but I'm not going to use those pockets. Let's put it this way. We've got an inside pocket here. Yeah? Mm hmm I'd probably fuck these off. Yeah. And use that. Yeah. Because that is a lot more traditional, a lot more easy. Yeah. That action... I've been practicing that action. That action, I've been practicing of course that not. one. This one. Is yeah, I hear you. I hear you, but just don't use those pockets. <laughs> uh, perforated, but not. And actually, this I do like for a roadie type jacket. Yeah. Is that you got a little bit here, mm. but this is solid where you're going to get a lot of wind draft. Mm. Um, whereas on like a one piece, the whole thing is perforated. Yeah, but do you know why that's solid? Tell me. Because you've got the air down. Right? True. And the Probably air dam would yeah. you, you just... So then you've got an option then, isn't it? So it's yeah. cool. Yeah. No, I like it. So that's why that's going to be... That's solid, perfect, man. I think, yeah. I personally, these colours aren't for me, but in the anthracite all day long. White is a bitch to keep it it's, clean. Yeah, you just can't keep it clean. There's no way. Yeah. And you know, even if you try and keep it clean, you know 
three, four years' time. It's cream, not it's white. Cream yeah, white. I know my RST suit is cream. Yeah. It was white, blue and white. My Super Tech gloves are cream. Yeah. And I, I don't really wear them like these days. I look, d- nice. My favourite pair of boots to this day, my Dainese, I forgot which model, but they're white. Well, sorry, they were white. But what makes it worse is they put this transparent plastic over parts, parts of it as part of the armour. And so now, not only is it cream, but where the plastic is, the plastic's kind of oxidised or faded or whatever. Oh. It's just this weird, ugly, like, shit colour. <laughs> but then, yeah. Then you can't wear it. Then but they're still good boots. Set. They're still... Yeah. I mean, they work, and I still wear them, but they're not, they don't look as nice as they used to. Yeah. I think I'm giving this... 650. There are cheaper suits out there. Yes. But for me, it's about value for money. It's about the quality of the, the leather, the comfort of the leather, because that's the other thing to bear in mind. I'm not slating RST or budget brands in general, mm. but they use a cheaper grain of leather, mm. and you know it when you're wearing it. No, the leather feels fantastic. And that's where the money's going. So from, from and how it makes me feel in it, like earlier on today, I wore this jacket. Different style, yeah. It's the same manufacturer. Yes. Let me tell you, it was not comfortable. <laughs> no way, shape or form would comfort, I would call it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Even though that is meant to be for a cafe race, which yeah. you're never going to go on track. No. So this, where it's supposed to be more focused, I'd say, wow, it's... I think it it's ticks very, boxes. It's very good. It's good for track. It's good for road, fast road riding as well. It's good for just being a flashy git in the summer, which... A, a big portion of what we you know what bike life is is that too let's be honest and it works in that sense too in this color i give it four stars okay in that color i give it 4.5 stars wow okay it can't get it can't get higher than that because the pockets are whack that's fine that's still a high score to be fair I, I given the importance you put to pockets <laughs> i think it's worth i think it's worth the money <laughs> yeah i, I think, think so in too. that color that will last you seven eight years easy until you put on weight do you, do you know what i mean that's the downside of leather isn't it until you put on weight you're good with that you're sweet with that and you can do everything with that well actually I, as someone who constantly puts on and loses weight what i do with my rst suit is i put on weight and then the suit because leather is a beautiful thing it will stretch to a point and it will accommodate you mm. and then i lost a lot of weight I fucked it. Do you know what I'm thinking I of I fully deformed my suit. I'm thinking of Homer Simpson. Yeah. You know the episode? <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. not going to cut that in because I can't be asked to go Google it and put it in, but yeah. I'll find it. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, but yeah, in that colour, I think it can last you a long time. Yeah, This colour is, is for the moment, I think. The white, just the white, it's the white, sorry. Uh, the other thing I love about this colour, actually, just because you mentioned it, it's not just plain black. I like the fact that it's this anthracite, this yeah. grey anthracite. It's unique. It stands out. It's different. But it also, like black, matches everything. I, yeah. I really like that. And as, as you can see, we've only got two left and they're the, like, random sizes. I could ride without my ZX6 and just, we so well. just go for it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They're one of our top-selling leather jackets, sports leather jackets. Mm. Yeah. Or is this, you've got to be a bit more dedicated to the colour. You've got to be a flash guy. Yeah. Like, I could imagine so, Rob to wear this. Yeah. So, I've so, oh, and you asked about bikes, and I'm sure they weren't mine because I posted on Instagram. I can put some customer pictures up. Yeah. Uh, new, the red and white blade, the red, the red, mainly red blade. Yes. Looks fucking amazing with that. The new one. Yeah. The R R R R R. That's right. It looks amazing with that, with this suit. Yeah. Andy Bachelor on his white Triumph looks amazing. Yes. So, there's a lot of bikes it works with. There's a lot yeah. of bikes it works with. I think it's great. Yeah, no. it's good. And this Ducati. I mean, yeah. Works. And I'm still sat here with my leg all bent. Yeah. Comfortable. Yeah. It's a comfortable suit. So, like, I when I, I knew Held before I opened the shop, mm. but I only knew them for gloves. Mm. And then when we took them on as a, a, basically our opening day, we had a lot of races come up, like uh, guys that track day uh, addicts and stuff like that. So, I, funnily enough, on our opening day, I learned a lot about Held because the Held rep was here for our opening mm. and I, I was just listening to what he was talking to them about and as, you know again this is not my knowledge I'm just passing on what he shared but mm. traditionally speaking um, you, it's really hard to do this with brand new leathers yeah it's really, you, you just can't but the, it's, I don't know what it is the cut or the way they put stretch in certain places every single time 
a seasoned rider that's been wearing leathers one or two piece for years and years and years but every single time for the first time that they're trying on held it's always wow or oh my god like and it's like i'm not a massive i bought one set of leathers and i wore those set of leathers are they I crashed or I got fat and then I bought another. I, I never went, I, I was never a leathers guy. It was only for a necessity for track that I bought leathers. Mm. But the, those that are obsessed with track, like you, for example, that mm. always wear leathers and even road riding leathers, which I didn't do as often as I should have done. Mm. Like, so that's why it wasn't that big a deal for and I didn't really understand it the way they did. But the, the moment they all get in it, they're like, oh my God, this is amazing. I've never been able to do this. Or, I've, you know, or when I'm standing, I'm normally like this. Or... Yeah. <laughs> and to be fair, to a certain degree, you should be. If it's a proper racer, because they mm. should be, pre, like you said, pre curb mm. and designed not to be walking in, they're designed to be racing in, but, yeah. or riding in. But yeah, I'm, it's amazing just how many people go wow when they put on held leathers. And mm. not enough people have tried on held leathers. And I think people should, when you're going out to buy leathers, or if you're in the market for leathers, it doesn't have to be with us. Go to, well, I don't know if Infinity, go to find a stockist of held and try on some held leathers. And if you're local to West London, come and see us at Urban Nomads. You don't even need to be local. Get on the train, innit? Well, people come from far and wide to see us. Bro. Yeah, man. Yeah. Get on the train and just just, just try one of them bad boys. Yeah. Or ride. I'll post your old suit back to you. Oi! 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 Hey, like that one. Is, that, is that on Urban Nomads? No. Oh, right, okay. You can say nothing like that. <laughs> right, right, right. Terms and conditions of flight subject to availability. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking guy. <laughs> Your statutory rights will not be affected by this purchase. <laughs> <laughs> you like it? But I like yeah. that. I like that. Cool. All right, sweet. So yeah, I'm I, I'm inclined to agree. I think four and a half stars for me. Four and a half stars, as, just as a whole. Four and a half stars. Because you're talking about colours, but in, at the end of the day, it's the features that matter, and that's what makes the jacket. And four and a half stars all day long. Colours not a feature, is that what you're saying? No, but you can change the colour, or you just buy the, the colour that you want in the first place, and then it's four and a half stars. You'd buy that, and it'd be four and a half stars. Well, that's what I'm saying to the people, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. If you buy the black one, it's four and a half stars. If you buy the coloured one, it's four stars. <laughs> and if I see you in the coloured one, I'll let you know. I'll be I'll like, brother. <laughs> brother, you are a flashy motherfucker and that's only four stars. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much. So, yeah. These boots are comfortable as well. I didn't realise I, I was in a crazy position for a long time. Now, nice. Nice, outro crew. Thank you for making it this far. We've got one thing we'd like you to do though, and that is we've had, we've had a lot of people, well, not a lot, but a lot, watch these videos. Yeah. But And it's growing. And it's growing. Yes. And that's good. And we thank you for your support. You. We just want to put that out there right now. Yeah. But what we really, really love you to do is just, just, just tap that like button. Just say that you've enjoyed this video. Just as a little, little thing of support, that would be great. Um, because it does help, it helps our algorithm, it helps yeah. other people to see this video yeah. and it helps us to grow the channel. So yeah. that, that's our one little, you know, little... Favour to ask. Little favour to ask. That's it. Yeah, little MGR favour. But back to the Held, Held Street 3.0 and Rocket 3.0. Held Street 3.0 and Rocket 3.0. Bruv, I'm still wearing them. <laughs> yeah. Because they're that comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, and I know I keep coming back to this comfortable thing, and yeah, there's a few jackets, the San Remo and uh, the Hells Segrino yes. boots that were mega comfortable. But yes. if if that's what it is, that's what it is. Yeah. Like it's you can't see that in a picture. No, you can scroll and you know look on so many different websites, but they're never going to tell you the thing is comfortable. Yeah, but I'm telling you right now. And actually, uh, comfort is actually a part of safety. As far as I'm concerned, yeah. Because if you're not, if you're worrying about a pinch or a, yeah. something in your neck or something, you're not focusing on the road and the ride that you're doing. Yeah, I had a student the other day who exactly that. bought a helmet online, an AGV, and he bought two and decided he was going to pick that one. And then we rode with you know for about he had the helmet for about four and a half five hours. Yeah, and then he started making some crazy mistakes. Yeah, like left indicator going past the junction with the car pulling out, but he didn't go into that junction he just kept going straight okay. so i stopped and i'm like dude what's going on yeah what happened what's going on? why didn't you turn left you did everything correct to turn left he went my helmet is just so tight i went you need to watch the mgr video <laughs> you would have messed up like that but nevertheless he bought it before we made that video and all that sort of stuff so comfort and making sure your kit and your gear fits yeah i think it's massive and, yeah. and, and the way that this fits 
is I'm still wearing it. Yeah, and I like the fact that unlike a, just a traditional two piece set, mm. it's, you, it's you can use it quite easily on the road. You can split it up with a pair of jeans or mm. you know whatever really. Mm. Uh, separate pair of trousers if you don't like this particular pair of trousers you could find another pair of leather trousers from the hell catalog that will zip straight in you can even you get know. the black ones exactly you can have a flashy jacket because that would one. work you know because yeah. there's enough black on it that it would work yeah and so that you've got those options but i just like the fact that it's just a nice all-rounder and mm. i think you're going to get longevity with this suit i think it will last a long time mm. and all the little features of the stretch and the accordion stretch and it's just brilliant I really like it, I just don't like the pockets. Yeah. But I really like it, and I'm sure that Held have a reason for the pockets to be designed the way they are. Maybe they were just trying to be innovative. Maybe they thought they were being cool at the time, who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Let's try backwards pockets. <laughs> but I'm, I'm just not a fan, I'm not a fan yeah. of that. It, it's, it's a weird action. But outside of that, especially like the jacket's open now. You go to the cafe, you've mm -hmm. got off your bike, you unzip it, the mm -hmm. jacket is now open. We did it with the jacket closed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fact. That's fact. Yeah. Now you're chasing yourself. It's not. It's doable, but you're chasing yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Hell, but I do love it. I think it's great. It's I think piece, it's. Yeah. I think it's a really nice, comfortable, well-built, good quality set of, set of levers. Yeah, that will last you a long time. Yeah. So, like we said, you give it four four and a half stars if it's. Anthracite? If it's black. Well, that's not black. Oh, well, the anthracite, the dark one. Yeah, four and a half stars. Yeah. Only because, only because, and this is the same with, with any any company, this is not for help, but mm. any white levers, they're never going to stay white. And they're super hard to clean. Yeah. And they just, you know, they just, they just don't, they don't last the life. But I believe the way that this is made will last longer than the white will stay white. Yes. Do you know what I mean? I think you're right. So rather than that, rather than tell you this is a five star and then you get three years down the road and you go, where's my jacket? It's now cream. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I'm going to be straight up with you like and I'm going to tell you, get this one, it's four stars. Get that black one over there that will last you the next eight years and just look the same. Do you know what I mean? It will look exactly the same. Yeah. As long as you don't crash in it, don't crash in it. But if you, if you, if you, if you just have that, my black one piece suit that I bought, apart from the bits that are white, yeah. it looks the same. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, a few more bugs here and there, but yeah. it, it looks. And it's worth noting, in case you are someone that does like white, there are plenty of services out there, uh, something like Ollie or something, I'll, I'll link in the description, that are, for not too much money will recondition your leather gear as well. Wow, back and to white. He can make it, he'll re dye it. He'll re dye it? Yeah. I think that's a review. I think that's a review. Well, you better send him something. I'll, I'll send him something. <laughs> I'll send him something. I'll send. I'll send him my. I'll send him my super tech gloves. Yeah, he'll do them. I'll send him True. my gloves. Although it'll have to be over the winter. And actually, what I'll do is I'll on the screen. I'll pop up at some point. I know this is the outro, but I'll pop up um, some of his work. It's it's really impressive. Before and after shots for Instagram. I want to see that. Yeah. I want to see that because. Yeah, I want to see that. Yeah. Oh, cool. There you go. Let's do that. That we'll make that video. We'll make that video. But anyway. Thank you so much, guys, for getting to this part of the video. I want you to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Yes, please do. Let people know. Do you know yeah. what I mean? If you if you know someone who's going to go and buy a helmet, send them my helmet video. And if you're watching it, just please like it. And if you don't like it, then hit the dislike button too. Either way, but just do one of the two, just because we've got a lot more views than likes. Mm. <laughs> mm. Well, not a lot more, but comparatively speaking. Yeah. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Thank you so much. See you next week.